Welcome to the Raw Unfiltered Truth, or The Rut, where I say the things you wish you could to correct some people's actions. So stick around to hear the blunt, honest truth that may not always be politically correct, but always comes from the heart. I'm pretty sure we have all worked our job or are working a job where our work ethic is being taken advantage of. Like we come to work, we do our job, we do our job to the fullest, but not only do we do our job, we do other people's jobs too. You know, that coworker that don't actually work or the coworker that only works when the manager comes around or the coworker who complains about having to do their job when they never actually do their job anyway. Yeah, we're going to talk about them, but also the management that lets them do this. So stick around because we also have a special announcement at the end of the show. So let's talk about it. I've had a job in fast food where I was literally doing so many people's job because the managers knew that if they asked me to do it, it would get done and it would get done properly because I was a worker, not just an employee. We all have them co-workers that are just employees because they're just there to get a check. They're not actually there to work. They're there to punch the clock so they can get that check. But other than that, that's it. So one day when I'm realizing I am sitting up here doing everybody's job, but then there's people who are barely even doing their job or have an attitude when I ask them to just do their job and my manager is just letting it be. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to do my job and that's it. I'm tired of doing everybody else's job and I ain't getting paid for it. That's what I did. I did my job. So then one day my manager, she goes, hey, Keisha, can you do um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G for me? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I wish I could, but I can't. And she's like, why not? And I'm like, well, it's not part of my job. And she's like, what? What do you mean it's not part of your job? Well, as a cashier, my job is to input customers' orders, have them pay for it, give them the correct change, verify that their order is correct when I give them their food, and also to maintain the front area. That is my job as a cashier. It is not my job to do the food prep that you're asking me to do. Those are not part of my job descriptions. And considering that there is people that is hired to do that, but they don't ever do their job, I don't see why I should do their job when they don't help me do mine. And she's, well, we are a team here. We help each other. Exactly. And I've been doing their job, but they don't seem to ever want to help me do my job when we get busy during rush hour. So with that being said, I'm just going to stick to doing my job and that's it. Well, if you do that, then I don't know if we can keep you on. Huh, that's funny because, you know, you keep them on even though they don't do their job. So you're going to let me go because I just want to do my job instead of doing other people's job. Is that correct? Well, no, that's not what I'm... Well, really, that's not what you're saying because it sounds like that's what you're saying. Well, I didn't mean it like that. Well, what do you mean? You know what? It's okay. It's okay. You can just go back to working. Oh, okay. Thank you. I would love to see how that's going to go over with HR. You fired her because she was doing her job and that's it. And then shout out to my mom and my sister because they definitely showed me what it is to be a worker and not just an employee. They instored that worker mentality in me. And I was talking to my mom about this and she was like, honestly, I don't think I've ever had a job with any manager or supervisor that I did not have to flip shit on because they wanted to take advantage of me being a worker and not just an employee. Now, my mom, when she was working this one job, she had finished doing her job and then her supervisor told her to go help another lady do her job. Me and my mom, my sister were all team players. So my mom was like, okay, cool. So she goes over there to help the lady with her job. But the lady don't want to do her job. The lady is too busy. She just wants to yak, 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 yak and talk and just socialize instead of actually working. 
So this is already annoying my mom, number one. Number two, she's also annoyed because she's trying to call up to the office to get you know, a response to help with the situation and nobody's responding to her calls. So now she has to leave her her work area to go up to the front office just to get a response. And when she does this to get her response, the supervisor or whatever, she sees her up there at the front office and she's like, what you doing up here? You ain't supposed to be up here. Why ain't you out there? And my mom loses it. One thing that you're not going to do is try to tell us that we ain't doing something that we know that we doing and we already doing somebody else's job too. Like, excuse me, don't try and tell me what I should be doing when I'm already doing somebody else's job that ain't even my job. So my mom ends up flipping her shit on her supervisor (laughs) and her supervisor's just like, oh shit. And then my sister, because, you know, she has the same work ethic as well. She used to, thank God she doesn't have to do this anymore, but she used to call me on a regular basis and she'd be like, I'm getting ready to flip my shit in here. And I'm just like, oh Lord, oh Lord, what's going on? What's the problem? Don't do it. It's okay. We, we, can, we can talk about it. We gonna, we gonna talk about it. Don't, don't hurt nobody. <laughs> she would just be upset because the manager would let his position go to his head and try and tell my sister to do something that my sister knows is incorrect or do something that is as backwards and just creates more work for everybody involved and doesn't make any sense to do. So my sister would call him out on it and be like, oh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because it's fucking stupid. Like, I'm not going to do that. And because he was like her supervisor, he would try and pull the power card and she would just be like, I really don't give a fuck. You could try to if you want to, but I'm not finna do that. And I will tell you and anybody else that I'm not finna do that because it's stupid as hell. I'm not doing it and you can't make me do it. And he eventually realized that that statement is very much true. If she's not going to do it, she ain't going to do it, period. Because one thing we're not going to do is make more work for ourselves when we already got a shit ton of work to do. So how do we fix these situations? First of all, do your job. Do your job. Not anybody else's, yours. Because one thing for certain and two things for sure, they cannot fire you for doing your job. Secondly, Don't be afraid to call your management out on their shortcomings. It is not your job to pick up other people's slack. That is not your job. If your management has not trained them to do their job, that is management's problems, not yours. Your management is supposed to lead by example. And if they're showing you that they don't care about the person that's not doing their job, they're just going to load their work off onto someone else, you don't need to be there. If management don't work, I'm pretty sure their employees ain't going to work either. Lead by example. Don't be afraid to call your management out. Lastly, don't be afraid to leave because they will replace you. But just as quickly as they so-called can replace you, you can find another place of employment that will actually appreciate your work ethic. So don't stay somewhere overworking yourself for some place that don't even appreciate the work that you do. So to recap, do your job, hold management accountable, work where you're appreciated. As a token of our appreciation, we are doing a thank you giveaway. None of this would have been possible without you guys constantly tuning in and giving me your input, and I highly appreciate it. So we're doing a giveaway to show our appreciation and thanks for you guys. Go over to either Instagram or Facebook and check out the giveaway entry post on how to enter, and be sure to come back on episode number 10 when we'll announce our winners. 
As always, thank you guys for tuning in and listening today. And if any of this has helped you out, please go over to either the Instagram or Facebook pages and share your stories with me. I would love to hear them. While you're there, be sure to follow and don't forget to tune in every Friday for your dose of the truth. Thank you.